guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hey, how you doing? My name is Ash, or you can call me Jinji. This is my channel, Ok Jinji, and today's video is a video over the new Anastasia launches. So, um, this is not what I planned on. So, just so you know, you'll know as you see, because I apply most of this stuff to my face, and it just, well, I'll be honest, I had trouble with the purple, okay? I had a lot of trouble with the purple, which is why this is all looking crazy and yeah so i got the palette the highlighter the dewy set and the dip brow gels in two shades because i'm picky and i give you my thoughts on them as i work with them and what i think of them and i come up with this look and uh definitely not what i was going for so i plan on doing another video with a much more wearable look with this palette this was not i don't even know what i had in my head when I was sat down, I didn't have anything in my head to be honest, and this is just what I came up with. It's very intense, it's very, uh, I don't know how I feel. I do like it, like looking in my monitor, but I'm sure, like, when I look back on this footage, and we like, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, enough of me rambling, let's just jump right into the video, and I start with a completely blank face. Alright, so I got the new ABH spring launch. I got the palette, the setting spray, the or the glowy spray, the lightest highlighter, and then the dip brow gels. I'll start by doing my brows because that's just how I usually do my makeup. So I bought two shades. So I have the auburn shade and then the caramel shade. Both of these do not match my hair. These are the only shades that were comparable for redheads. Caramel is too brown and auburn is too dark, but auburn does have the redness into it, but this would only work if you're, you're, you have dark red hair or if you dye your hair like a uh, rich auburn color. I did try out both of these the other day and I am going to try it again today. I've never tried the Dip Brow from Anastasia. I'm not very good at like that sort of thing. So I believe these were $18 each and there is the auburn and caramel so i'm gonna show you on the back of my hand i don't know if it i just got a weird one but it seems like not a lot of product comes off on these so there's caramel and then there is auburn if this one was a little more ready orange i feel like that would work more for a redhead this one of course like if i had my other hair when i dye it this would work beautifully with that but it's like there needs to be something in between that is lighter than this, like a lighter red than this, but less brown than this, if that makes any sort of sense. So I've seen that you can use this like if you take like uh, an angled brush, this is the Anastasia 12 brush, you take something like this, you can like do the, the thing, you know? So I'm going to try that today. I honestly am not not good at this at all. I'm usually brow pencil and brow gel and then sometimes I go in with a powder. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some product off on here and hope for the best I guess. As you can see like there's product here and here but nothing like in the middle and that's kind of weird but it's whatever. So I have some on my little brush and I don't have like s super sparse hair so I don't know I feel like dip brow like the pot pomade whatever is like something that you want if you want like the Instagram brow or if you have like no brows ugh I just got that in my hair like it's okay it's just not I guess not my favorite just color wise i like this as like just like brushing it through the brows but something like this it's just not something that i would do on the everyday it's just not my style i guess you can say there's that i think i'm gonna go in with the auburn shade now though just to show you how that looks because this one is more red like this i mean it's okay but I would want something a little bit closer to my my natural color. So I'm going citrusine brush, of 
course I don't have like another brow brush I like this brush more for liner anyway so I don't really use it for my brows too often just flicking that through all right so that is the brows as that I'm gonna go with in with the auburn shade, I'm going to do auburn on the end and then caramel on the front. So I'm going to start like about, yeah, my arch. And just brush that through. This looks so messy, but I'll clean it up, I guess. And now I'm going in with, this is caramel, right? Caramel? Do you say caramel? Caramel? There's a town called Caramel, Indiana. I'm going to go back in with this brush and just now extra product just kind of brush this through because it is looking a little a little much it'll look fine once i have the rest of my face on i mean i'll probably have to touch up my brows after i put on foundation but this is what i got going on don't know really how i feel about them yet i still want to play around with them but as of right now they're okay now i'm gonna go on to tape i usually don't do this because i can never get the tape right and Let's see how well I can do this. Probably not well considering it's not something I do on the norm. So I'm gonna follow like my lower lash line, but uh, not exactly there. Cause I plan on doing something like really dramatic. Yeah, sure. If I can match this up, it'll be a miracle. Even enough, that's what I'm gonna go with, even enough. I'm gonna go in with my concealer. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer. I know I should probably did this first, but it's whatever. I like using concealer to prime because it covers up a little bit more. I'm gonna set that with my Hourglass Powder. And to make things even a little bit more complicated, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm gonna put a little bit of this like right on the outside where I didn't really put the concealer. And I'm just going to, I know I probably should have did this before powder, but you know, it's, it's one of those days. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna put this like on the lid too. This is a nice primer. I do like it. I just usually just opt for concealer. Hopefully this doesn't affect how the shadows perform. I hate using tape it just feels so tight I figured i wear like stripes you know make it seem you know stripes stripes although it's black and white not blue so this is the palette and look at how pretty it is it's so pretty so so pretty i am so excited to play with this i haven't played with it at all can i get this thing off the mirror so i can use it probably not so looking at this i am instantly drawn to the pink and the purple and i know that's what a lot of people are drawn to what am i gonna do i do not know i think i know i want to drag out shadow like really far i want it very i'm not very good at this so oh this also comes with a brush you know standard for anastasia palettes like, i want to start working in here and i'm going to go into the shade cabana so it is pigmented and i'm going to Just start right in there. Still no clue what I'm doing. I'll probably end up maybe doing like a cut crease. Maybe. Can get that down. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna go right next door. No, skip that. I'm gonna go right over here to Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo seems to have less kickback than Cabana. I'm gonna get that and I'm going to put that right there. Ooh, that's pigmented. Like I said, not exactly sure what I'm doing here. I've been trying to like, like look at this palette and like think about what I want to do. So I'm just winging it. Maybe even literally winging it. And I'm going to switch to another brush, kind of similar, a little less fluffy. Get the same general idea. And I th think I'm going to go into the purple shade, which is this called Canes? Like the island? Is that what it is? I think Canes is an island. Brush off some of the kickback, and since I have the tape, I am going to make sure that this gets placed, and then 
kind of fall where the tape is. I don't know how well this is going to work on my eye shape, I feel like. It's not going to work the best. I'm blending that a little bit. And now I'm trying to repeat on this side. So I'm just lightly blending that in with the Monte Carlo shade. It's going to be an interesting look. I'm going to go back into Monte Carlo though. Really work that in between purple and yellow and just lightly go above all that. So far I like that. I'm gonna go in with this little brush and I'm gonna go into I think palm here and just kind of like deepen up the crease a little bit. I don't think that's gonna be a good brush for this but we shall see. We shall see. Because I will think, I do think I'm going to carve this out, so I'm starting right there, just right, right in my crease. This actually might start to turn muddy. I'm going to go in with this brush from Morphe the M443, and I'm go back into Cabana here. I should zoom you in a bit more. So Cabana. really packing that on it's not as bright as i would want it to be but that's okay i might throw the inheritance shade on top I'm trying to match it up because my brows aren't like the same so it's, it seems like you know there's just more space on one side than there is on the other again with monte carlo and going back in with canes I'm actually going to follow along the tape with Canes. This actually is kind of looking a little patchy, the purple, but that could just honestly be my skin. It kind of has that effect on things. This is going to look horrible before it looks better, I know that. My camera is actually about to overheat, so I'm going to take a pause, talk to my fiance, get some water, and I'll be back to finish up the top lid. You would think after sitting there for several minutes that I would have came up with something and I came up with nothing. So I'm just, I don't really know why I put palm down. I just gotta like overly complicate my life. Still don't know how I feel. Don't know how I feel. I'm gonna go in though, again, with a little bit more cabana. Now I'm gonna go, same brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Inheritance. Ooh, that's a lot of kick up. Lock it up. That's actually really pretty. Just like tap that over. Oh yeah, now we're getting somewhere. That is actually pretty. But I'm struggling, so I'm gonna actually dip into just the tiniest bit of Bahamas with that color pop brush that I was using with Monte Carlo. Just 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 a little bit. And cause I think that's what this top needs. A little bit more kick in the center. And then I'm gonna flip it over. Go to Monte Carlo, right at the top. Now I'm going to try and carve this out, which is not something I do on a rig. This is Tarte Shape Tape. I actually don't like this under my eyes, but I do like it to do a cut crease. When I do do a cut crease, put a little bit on the back of my hand. Doesn't matter what shade I use, do you care? I used Fair. I don't know how well this is going to go. I'm following this a little bit. This might be one of those looks that only looks good from a certain angle. But it's okay. I really need to blend out this purple on top, but I'm going to I'm gonna hold off on that. Another brush. I am going to now, before I switch into the other, I'm going to do this side. So I'm going to go into... What do I want to do? I think I'll go into Yacht. Yacht. Why can I say that? I'm going to go into the shade Yacht. 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 It's a boat. Yeah, I'm going to go into the boat shade and i picking that up. And I'm going to... Oh, that's right in there. Fade it over a little bit. I like that. I'm going to brush that off a little bit. And I'm now going to go into... Shushleesh. Shush. Shush, 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 seashells. So I'll pick that up and this is gonna go 
Oh my god, that is gorgeous. That is so pretty. Oh, I want that all over my lid. Clean this off again, so I have a little bit of slightly cleaner thing to work with. I'm just going to, right in the center, just tap. Oh, you know what this reminds me of? Like this color, and that is like the sand, and then like the water, and I am here for it. I'm gonna go into like this little, it's like a pointed brush, and I'm gonna go into the shade Mediterranean, which looks absolutely gorgeous, and I'm going to put this right next to that blue, and I'm gonna follow this wing out, going with my finger just to tap right there. Fade that in with the blue. A shesh, shesh. Okay, so far I like that, but I think before I go to my other, I'm, I want to try and like blend out this purple a bit more because I'm not really liking like how it's looking. So a clean brush, and I'm going to just try not get too much brow hair, and just try and I don't know, I guess just work this out. I'm going to go into a state though and see if that can help blend that out a little bit. Just a smidge. That one has a lot of kickback. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. So I'm going to now clean up this eye. For now, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off this tape now. Because I don't know how I feel about this look. I kind of feel like I should have just did this without filming and then like do a different look for a video because usually stuff like this is something I like pop on a movie and I sit down and just do this without talking when I want to do something I guess more creative I'm gonna take a makeup wipe if you can't tell what I'm doing and I'm going to clean up because there is quite a bit of fallout all right so I get chilled, so I put my sweater back on. I am going to put on my foundation and everything. I'm just gonna like speed through this because I'm not really doing anything new. Um, I'll stop when I get to the highlighter because I have the loose highlighter to try out. But other than that, I'm just gonna like speed through this. So hold on for the ride. I still see shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point where is done it looks a little rough honestly the foundation isn't looking the best on my skin but i'm gonna go in with the loose highlighter now this is the one in it's this little shade i think it's called snowflake i only picked up the one because i'm trying to be good and not pick up everything so yeah snowflake this is the packaging this is what it looks like i did swatch this before and it is pretty you get a little sifter in that so i have a little bit in here i'm just gonna use my a23 this looks i don't know i haven't tried it on the face so i can't like say what it actually is like but that is it on the brush it kind of looks chunky not gonna lie and i am going to put that there i mean it's gonna be pretty i know that but it seems like it's super glittery which it is but 
that is intense. Just ignore how the eyeshadow is looking right now. I will fix it up as best as I can, at least. I mean, you can see that that is... I mean, I ain't mad at that. It's too dark, it's too dark. I'm just going to sweep that everywhere like I do. I usually put highlighter like above my brows. And then, of course, I love the nose highlight. I think I do like it. It is a little glittery, but I mean, I don't know what else you would expect from something like this, but it's pretty. I do think like the packaging, it's a little, it seems a little hard to get like the product out, but that could just be me. Now is at the point where normally my routine after I do all my face, I do go in with a spray, so I'm going to try the setting spray, or it's a dewy set. It's not like a setting spray, it's just dewy. I love all things dewy because I got dry skin. So this is what it looks like. This is The glitter is just the packaging, like the liquid in here has no glitter. It's cool because you go like that and then like it squeezes. So there's no cap, you just like twist it and it goes in this. Let's see if I can show you the spray. So it's not, it's okay. It's supposed to have like a vanilla coconut scent, which I kind of get, but uh, it's whatever. I'm going to spray my face. Oh yeah, now that I drench my face, I can really smell that, but do you see the glow? Yes, please. I hope this doesn't break out my chest because I'm wearing a tank top. Usually I've noticed, oh shit, my thing is soaked. I have noticed with setting sprays, like face sprays, whatever, if, um, like it doesn't break my face out, but it does break my chest out. I like that, I like that. Ooh, now I just gotta fix the eyes. Ooh, I'm into it. So this is looking a little rough out here. I will try and fix it up a bit, but I'm gonna now, I'm gonna go in with the brush that came with this palette and I'm gonna go into the shade, the purple shade Canes. And I'm going in with this flat side and I'm going to sort of match up where that purple is up there. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Just stabbing that purple there. Stabbing seems so aggressive, but stamping, there we go, less aggressive. I don't think I wanna exactly mimic the top. I might, I don't know, I might just softly try to blend this purple without disturbing that blue too much. Let's take on just a little bit of purple and blending. Not that I think adding more helps, but you know, it could. Yeah, this side just looks super, super patchy. That could be all the product that I have down. Like it could be the concealer. I don't necessarily think it's the sh shad shallot. Wow, what am I even trying to say? The palette. Ooh, it is even looking patchy down here, but you can kind of still see where, like, where the tape line is. We went after putting on foundation and whatnot. I'm really not liking how this is looking, but I don't know what more I can do besides cover it with my hair. This isn't like my typical look i'm just i'm way out my comfort zone don't know how i feel i used almost every single shade in this palette except for i haven't used coastline palmero seaside or sales i will use sales i'm just going to take a brush and i'm going to take sales which is this matte white in the palette and i'm going to that is a bright white sometimes it's hard to get like a good white shade that's gonna like really pop on my ginger skin tone. My ginger skin tone, I mean pale as fuck. Yeah, while well, I'm here, I'm gonna use this brush. I'm gonna go into Bahamas, which is the shade I'm most drawn to in this palette. And I just have a little bit on the tip and I'm going to get the hair that's off my face that I feel that and I'm going to, oh, right there. Go back in with the purple shade. I'm also going to take that white shade and put it on my inner corner. I don't know what exactly I'm going to do there yet, but I'm just kind of 
brightening it up a little bit, cleaning up the area a bit with that shade. Well, hmm. I don't know how I feel about this look. I am going to switch gears and go with a liner. This is the Pixie Eye Define Waterline and I'm going to put this in my waterline, my tight line, and I might smudge it at the top because I do plan on doing lashes. Would a black wing make this better? If I just like wing it out? Maybe. Do I want to try that? It's one of those things. I don't know. So I'm not going to try. Alright, so I'm going to throw on a quick coat of mascara. This is the NYX Worth the Hype. I'm just going to put this on my top lashes for now. So all the mascara I got on the lower lash dries. I'm going to go in with these lashes. I think I want to use the Zero Teddy from Kiss Lashes. And they're just so pretty. And they can cover up all my mistakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop off camera. I'm going to put on my lashes, do my mascara, and then I'll come back to finish off with lips and tell you my final thoughts. Okay, not exactly what I was going for, but it's what I got. So I was kind of uh, channeling a little bit, what is it, Alyssa? She works with uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and uh, honestly, it, it started like, I couldn't get this purple right, so I was like, okay, glitter. Glitter fixes everything. And I put glitter on. I was like, okay, glitter is now all over my face, so what do I do? I put bottom lashes on. These are bottom lashes. I just chopped up a pair of lashes and put those on my bottom lashes. And now I feel like a bird. <laughs> and I threw on a lip already. So if you're interested, the lip shade I have on is Bones from Blackman Cosmetics. Like I said, I'm wearing Kiss lashes. The lashes I chopped up are Badding Baddington lashes. I, don't know, I never used them, so I just chopped them all up. And the glitters I used, I put on Adore and Aphrodite from Anastasia. So Aphrodite is like on the purple and then Adore is like on the pink. And then I used the Cupid Hearts in the center just because I haven't used those before and I wanted to. Are they even? No. But, uh, fuck. <laughs> this is what I came up with. I probably have glitter all over my face. In fact, I know I do. I know I have glitter all over my face, but yeah. Yeah, I like it. It's just not exactly what I was going for. I really tried to fix it up, but you know what? This video's gone on long enough. My camera died and there's barely any charge on it, but I'm going to wrap up this video. I still have to do the intro. But I'm gonna wrap up this video just by saying the palette, I do love it. Like I knew I was gonna love it. I love the colors in here. I haven't, I didn't try every single shade, of course, but I, I used majority. I think I didn't use like two or three. I did have a little trouble with the purple as you can probably clearly see on my eye, but I think that was all on me and what I was using and how I was doing it because that's not how I protect, that's not really how I wanted to use the purple in this palette, but it's kind of just where it went. But other than that, I really like this palette. I like how it came out. The highlighter is pretty, like it is pretty but it is also kind of glittery, but it's whatever. The dewy set, I will continue to use this. It smells nice. I, I'm not a coconut fan, but this is a nice scent. It's not overpoweringly coconutty. Um, I like it. I'm going to continue to use it. I like how it makes my skin look a little more dewy. And as for the dip brow gels, I'm going to have to still work on those. I'm going to have to keep using them. I'm not sure exactly how I feel. They're okay right now, but I'll have to use it a couple more times to get a feel if I actually do like them. So far though, right now, I still prefer my pencil over anything. But yeah, th I mean, this is the look I came up with. What do you guys think? <sighs> yeah, and that's also my thoughts on all the new launches from Anastasia. And do I have anything else to add? When this video goes up, I think it's the last day for my like thank you giveaway and then I still have which I filmed last time was my J Kissa elf collab um I have a giveaway in that video if you want to check that out but other than that follow me on Instagram because I post there every single day I've been getting more into the stories and like trying to like post more there I did an unboxing of my wet and wild order yesterday so that was fun and yeah 
think that's it. Oh yeah, subscribe, I guess, duh. Subscribe to my channel. Since I didn't point it out in my last video, I did miss two videos last week. I just had a rough week and it's better, so there's that. It's better, I'm back to posting. And I think I'm gonna start uploading on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and probably Saturdays because Mondays just aren't working for me because sometimes I just run out of time to film on the weekends, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching. That's a little spiel I had. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have an amazing day or night whenever you're watching this, and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Bye! Oh, she's sweet but a psycho, a little bit psycho, and now she's screaming, oh, my, 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 oh, she's hot but a psycho, so I wish she's right though, and now she's screaming, oh, my, 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 my.